Developing tonight, the case of Glendale officers tasing a man 11 times is now in the hands of the FBI. The dramatic body camera footage shows the violent interaction between the man and the Glendale PD. Team Charles Ryan Cody is live in the Alert Center for us with the latest details, including the governor's response and what the city of Glendale is saying tonight, Ryan. Yeah, it's turning into a war of words tonight. The governor calling out Glendale PD, Glendale calling out the county attorney and the county attorney then sending the case to the FBI. What I saw was completely unacceptable, and it seems to me that the investigation was whitewashed. Governor Ducey calling out the investigation into the 2017 tasing of Johnny Wheatcroft. Officers tasing him 11 times. Glendale police suspending officer Matt Schneider for three days, and he's now back on duty. I'd love to see uh, the county attorney's office reopened the investigation. Just hours later, Maricopa County Attorney Bill Montgomery turning the investigation over to the FBI. And hours after that, the city of Glendale firing back at both. In a statement saying the city's only role in the investigation was, quote, providing all evidence to the county attorney. And they have, quote, no basis to believe the county attorney's original investigation was not thorough and comprehensive. Glendale also saying Wheatcroft offered to settle with the city for the quote absurd amount of $15 million. What I saw on that videotape uh, did not represent the law enforcement that I know in the state of Arizona. And while the FBI launches a new investigation, the Bureau telling 12 News it examines facts with consideration of federal criminal statutes, not state related charges. <laughs> Now, the city of Glendale also says the video does not even tell the entire story, claiming one of the officers was assaulted and knocked unconscious during the incident, but that is not part of the video they released. We're live in the Alert Center tonight. Ryan Cody, 12 News at 10.